Hey, Evan Edinger here, and welcome back to my series on words. Now, I've been living in the UK for 12 years now, but even though I consider myself quite a Londoner, there are still some place names in London that trip me up to this day, even in a video I made last week. So rather than have you have to suffer the embarrassment like I have, I'll make mistakes so you don't have to. Today I'm going to share with you some of the most difficult London place names that have tripped me up and even some of my British friends who aren't from London. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, top of our list is going to be one of the ones that I hope you're aware of at this point. This is one that trips up mostly Americans. I feel like most people that are aware of the difficulties of British words and things will probably see this name here and go, ah, oh, you can't trick me. I'm not going to pronounce it ham like Buckingham Palace. No, it's probably totten um. But even then, that's actually incorrect. The correct way of pronouncing this is actually Tottenham. So not Tottenham, but just Tottenham. It's two syllables. You're skipping loads of stuff. Tottenham. Tottenham. As in, I used to live in Tottenham Ale, and you can also stop by if you live in a Tottenham Court Road, if you're a bit of a posh twat. How can you afford that? Jesus Christ, cost of living, I guess not for you. Here's one that I messed up on and I've been pronouncing wrong for 10 years and was only pointed out by my girlfriend last year. I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know this is very much in character for me. I heard her pronounce it correctly and went, Pfft. <laughs> what do you mean, Grosvenor? <laughs> Did you mean Grosvenor? What? It's not? There's an S that's silent? Yeah. If a British place name has an R somewhat near the end, pretty much ignore it. That's like a, a, a big tip here. So if you see something like this, Grosvenor, cut off the R, be like Grosvenor, and then just Hail Mary and hope that th maybe there's a silent S now. Grosvenor, as in go to Grosvenor Square, where the US Embassy used to be. I used to stop by there all the time and I'd say, hey, I'm going to Grosvenor Square. Also, there's casinos called Grosvenor Casinos, but that's obviously not how it's pronounced. That's a gross pronunciation. It's just Grosvenor. Grosvenor Casinos. Not sponsored, please stop gambling. Third on the list, definitely trips up people that are not from London. You can see this and go, ah, oh, wait a minute. Holborn? Because, you know, the R is at the end, so you're going to ignore it. So Holborn? Eh, actually, yes. That, that is, I'd say, an acceptable way for a Londoner to pronounce this. But I'd say more Londoners actually ignore the L as well. And they say Hoban. Oh, I'm stopping at Hoban to switch from the Piccadilly to the Central. Hate it, but you gotta do it. That is how you pronounce it. So far, we've learned pretty much ignore those final R's if there's an R towards the end. Also, maybe a letter in the first syllable, just ignore. Now you're starting to pick up the pieces. So with the knowledge you've learned, next up is this place. I actually lived in an Airbnb in this area. I swear to God, I heard a gunshot, so I don't necessarily like it. But if you end up this far east in East London, don't pronounce it like I did saying, oh, I live in Plaisto. It was close. It was close. See that eye that's there? Don't. Close your eye. It's not there anymore. Plasto. Just plasto. Plasto. Oh, I'm in plasto. 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 Depending on how posh you are. If you get cut, because, I don't know, it's, it's a bit shady out that area. Can I get a plasto? In plasto? No? Now, this next one I have also pronounced incorrectly for 10 years, and it's not because like in most cases, maybe I just haven't ever heard the word out loud. I've just read it and made up my own mind. Like before I ever heard the word inventory, I'd play Civilization 3 and be like, ah, oh, inventory. No, 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 no. But I have no excuse for this one, which I, I heard many times because it's actually where I believe the Piccadilly line terminates. Roy Slip. Nope. No, 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 no. Not Roy Slip. Don't forget. Ignore certain letters in the first syllable. In this case, it's the U pronounced rye slip, what a Finnish person brings to their teacher when they want some food. Their rye slip. That joke is just gonna hit with the tiny amount of Finnish audience I have, but you know who you are. <laughs> All right, so just from this video alone, you've probably learned a lot, enough to say this one correctly. First off, you see the ham at the end and you go, nope, we're gonna go mm with that correctly. And then you might go, actually, let's ignore a letter in the first syllable. How about the A? You've done it. It's Streatham. Oh, I'm going down to Streatham to visit my friend. I've got a friend who lives in Streatham, Streatham Common. It's actually quite sensical. I've never pronounced this one incorrectly, but that's because the only reason I went was to visit my friend who told me he lived in Streatham. So easy enough, not Streatham or Streetham. Streetham? Sounds quite nice. I'd say that the place names in London that are the most difficult for American tourists to pronounce, for instance, are ones in which we already have that word, but we pronounce it completely differently. Uh, for instance, we have this one here. You might be thinking, oh, borough, as in like, in my borough. No, sadly not. It's similar to Edinburgh. It's actually borough, as in borough market. Borough market, not borough market. It's similar to like, you don't say Glastonbury, you say Glastonbury or Cannonbury. And where is borough market? What borough is borough market in? It's actually in the borough of Southwark. Yet again, this is one where I've never actually had a problem with this one too much, which is surprising when I look at it, because I'm like, it does look like Southwark, but 
Another pro tip for you. If you see a W towards the end of a British place name, you know, just ignore it. You don't see it. Instead of the W, just take that out. And in the first syllable, we're gonna cut out that O, Southwark. All right, class, and now time for some honorable mentions. So now that you know what you know, if you see this place based on Southwark, you know, yes, it's not Greenwich, it's Greenwich. And if you see this one, obviously you know, ignore that W, it's just Chiswick. Chiswick, I've actually made an entire video about Chiswick. It's emotional, not clickbait. So if you haven't watched that yet, it's, it's really good. So This next one is on the list and you won't find it on many listicles at all because I feel like it, it makes the most sense to pronounce it the way it's actually meant to be pronounced. The only reason I've added it to this list is because my British girlfriend from Marlow, she actually was on the train with me once, we're on the Jubilee. And I'm like, oh wait, what's the next stop? Uh, we need to get off at London Bridge. And she says, oh, it's Bermondsey. I burst out laughing, Bermondsey? <laughs> Bermondsey. I don't think you could try to pronounce that in a more RP way. The correct way is saying Bermondsey. Accent on the burr. Bermondsey, 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 Bermondsey. Bermondsey. Just, no. <laughs> it's just a very funny way of pronouncing it. Don't say Bermondsey. I believe my girlfriend deserves a bit of redemption here. She's not a Londoner, so it's totally, totally fine to not know how to pronounce Bermondsey. However, she gets all her points back because one day, this is a little bonus one. We were driving through Bucks or Barks or Berks or whatever the heck county it is that's outside of London, I'm sorry. And we pass by some sort of outlet village. And I say to her, oh my God, I, I keep getting advertisements on my Facebook for this stupid place. I've never actually been to Bychester Village. To which uh, she then was able to laugh in my face because I did that classic American thing, which I'm sorry, but I know that it's not Leicester Square. You know, when you see Sester, it's just stir, such as Gloucester, Worcester. I understood that. But when I saw a name that was just two letters in front of Sester, I was thinking, well, it couldn't be Bister, right? Right, it's actually Bister. Bister Village, not by Chester Village. So yes, big egg on my face. I am still making mistakes this day and I still make even the most basic of mistakes, but that's okay. You gotta learn somehow. Bister Village, <laughs> not in London, just a little bonus. But now class, you've done pretty well. I think it's time we move up to the big leagues. These are ones that I have literally just messed up on in the last month or two. Embarrassing. So first up, in the video I literally uploaded last week, a lot of you correctly pointed out that I was pronouncing the River Lee incorrectly. Now, you might say, oh, well, Evan, that's okay. It kind of looks like Leah, and I bet you never heard it being pronounced. No, this is, this is another one of those cases where I've actually heard the name many, many times. And I always think to myself, that's weird. They pronounced it without the A. Why do they keep forgetting that? Even like over like an intercom in a lift where it's like, this is the River Lee. And I'm like, ah, maybe it was a silent A. They said River Lee. It was like a breath. No, it's just, it's just Lee. Depending on how far along the River Lee you are, depends on if it's actually spelled L-E-E, -E, which does make more sense to be pronounced Lee, or lee uh still pronounced Lee, regardless. So there's your fun fact of the day. Evan makes a mistake, even in a video. One of the worst parts about being a YouTuber is once you put something out there, no matter how much time you put it into it, you can't rescind it like that. Now, if you follow the River Lee all the way to its mouth, you get to a place that I actually visited the other day and made a video about uh, in my video on developers and why they're bad. However, the development here isn't actually all that bad. It's actually quite nice. Trinity Buoy Wharf. Now, I'm adding this one to the list, even though I'm not actually pronouncing it wrong, I'm just pronouncing it with my regional dialect. I am very well aware that if you see a small child in the sea and you shall Boy, there is no difference in British English than if you see a bobbing little thing in the sea, a boy. They pronounce it boy regardless. Now, I would say buoy versus boy, so that maybe if there's a small child in the sea, you know those, that happens all the time these days, I can shout correctly. But in reality, I actually just like the way buoy sounds. In my opinion, a buoy bobbing along, it sounds like buoy, buoy. Boy just sounds like I'm Kratos going boy, boy. Trinity Boy Wharf. Trinity Boy Wharf. Just sounds wrong. It's not a wharf for boys. What's up with this? What about the girl wharf? So I'm, I'm adding this one. You could pronounce it either way regionally. I do make decisions like that where I'm like, I personally prefer my regional way of saying it. And it is like a big red flag when talking to someone, they're like, oh, he's not from here, but that's okay. I'm not from here. Changing it up every once in a while. It's not like I'm gonna walk around saying Greenwich still, but Bowie, I'm gonna keep Bowie. Boo, no, they're saying Boo Earns. Boo-ee. All right, next up, this one took me two years to get adjusted because I was furious when I found out that in British English, Q, U is not pronounced qua all the time. It's pronounced k. So this would actually be West India, key, not West India, quay. 
And I know that Quay sounds crazy wrong, but maybe that's just because I've been living here long enough to be like, hey, wait a minute. So if you end up going this far into the Docklands, maybe make sure you pronounce it West India Key. And if the queen were still alive, you'd actually wanna say God save the keen, because you know, quas don't exist here. Now in London, you don't just have to worry about the way you pronounce things, but also if you're referring to the right place. Like in my video where I talked about the top 10 mistakes that tourists make when visiting London, I opened the video in front of Westminster Abbey saying, this is the city of London. Now, a lot of uh, the pedants in the comments were rightfully upset going, that's not the city of London, mate. That's just London. Because if you didn't know, the city of London is the square mile, like the historical city of London. It's really tiny actually. And the overall city is called London or Greater London. But in my defense, obviously that is something I was very well aware of. I was more saying, this is the city of London, you know, like the city of Philadelphia. I wasn't saying the city of London TM brand trademark, no. no. No, just, you know, it's the city of London. The city of London, now that's, that's a different place. You know, like saying, I'm going out, or am I going out, out? It's very different. Is he into you or is he into you? Depends on the pronunciation, the enunciation, if you will. If you're learning English as a second language, this must be very annoying, but changing the accent on those words completely changes the meaning. The city of London versus the city of London. But if you're going to the comments to tell me how long I am, don't worry, I know. I'm digging my heels in for no good reason. It's definitely not correct, uh, but I'm gonna stand by it, all right? Because we all make mistakes, such as that chord. It was a bit discordant. Follow my discord. Now, I actually made a video about Woolwich a couple weeks back, and I did pronounce it correctly. You probably nailed it because it's got that W at the end and you're like, I'm onto your tricks. Just ignore that W and you'll be fine. However, if you're looking on a map and saying, what part of London is Woolwich in? You might look at, for instance, a compass and go, well, that's pretty much bang on Cardinal East. So I also agree. So I said, well, Woolwich is in East London. However, this is a, a, a cardinal offense. People are very upset because as soon as you cross a, a millimeter south of the river, which is where Woolwich is, it is no longer East London, but Southeast London. I personally disagree with that. I think there should be a bit more leeway or leeway? No, a bit more leeway between like, if it's east, it's east, but uh, East London is traditionally north of the river. And also to be fair, Woolwich's postcode is literally SE which doesn't stand for a suck even. It stands for Southeast. So it was a mistake that I'm still kind of like, ah, it's East London. It's not East London, but it's East London. I'll find a way to make myself feel better about anything. <laughs> this is just something that yet again, I'm wrong at, totally okay being wrong on things. But in my opinion, if you put like a big compass over top of a city like London, if it's more North than Northeast, I'd like to call it North. And if it's more East than Southeast, I just like to call it East, right? You can disagree with me and you'll probably be right. <laughs> In terms of these names aren't based on compasses, they're based on history and tradition. And uh, as much as I can argue my way out of anything in a way, I'll always be wrong on these types of things, but it's fun to have little disagreements on things in it, bruv. Oh, it's time for a sponsored segment. Sponsor. Can I just sing a song about the sponsor? Do you think that would be allowed? I'm not that good at piano. <laughs> So it, it turns out I'm not as good at improv on the piano as I am on the ukulele. But today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ahem. So sign up to Squarespace today. Build your very own website in your own way. Maybe set up a store, sell things for your dog. Build a portfolio or maybe a blog. There's so many templates for you to choose. It'll look so professional, you can't lose. You'll finally have a website of your own. Looks great on a computer even on a phone. Sign up to Squarespace today. That's squarespace.com slash Evanettinger. Hooray. Get two weeks for free with my special link. 10% off. What do you think? What do you think? This is as much to you as it is to Squarespace approving this ad that they've never really approved a song before. So thanks Squarespace for sponsoring and uh, sign up today to build your very own website. Now, some of the more astute of you might have noticed this isn't the first time I've made a video talking about like place names that are mispronounced in the UK. Uh, actually, I made a video on this topic about four or five years ago, but it was done from a comedic point of view. I wanted to challenge myself to do my best British accent at the time, which I'd like to state now is, is awful, you know, in hindsight, 2020. But I thought it'd be a funny idea if I put on a British accent and pretended to be really British and tell Americans how to pronounce British place names correctly, except I purposely butcher every single one by saying things like Leicester Square and Lugabarugga. So if you haven't seen that video yet, highly recommend, uh, click that link above. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today's video. 
and hopefully I'll see you next Sunday. I only got a couple weeks left with this long hair and then it's gonna go bye bye bye. So bye bye bye. That was never mind. All right, thank you uh, for watching. Bye.